So uh, thank you very much for introduction. Today I talk about this type from Yukawa's method theory to Cox and Gruon. And uh, first I will explain what uh, did the Yukawa Hideki uh, do the, uh, in, the, in this theory. So, as a, so let's consider uh, what Yukawa uh, considered at his time. And the, the question is, uh, what is a nuclear force at that time? So as you know, uh, atom is, con is composed of nucleus and electron. And the nucleus, as later people found, it's made from proton and neutrons. Proton was discovered in 1918, and it's positively charged. And neutron, it's a neutral particle, and was discovered in 1932. Yeah, you can see the size. It's 10 to the minus 8, and it's 10 to the minus 12 centimeter. It's uh, 10 to the fourth uh, smaller uh, than the size of the atoms. And the question is, what bind the nucleus, nuclei and nucleons? Nucleon is the name of proton and neutron, and inside the nucleus. And at that time, people only know two forces. One is gravity, Newton's gravity. It's too weak to burn the nucleus. And the other is a Coulomb force. But Coulomb force cannot create attraction. For example, proton and proton, since both are positively charged, uh, force is repulsive. And also, neutron doesn't have char uh, charge, so no force between proton and neutron or neutron and neutron. Clearly, at that time, people realized we need new forces, and people call that is a nuclear force. And uh, even though we don't know what, is a, what was a nuclear force at that time, people sp speculate the property of the nuclear force. One is that nuclear force must be stronger than Coulomb force, because uh, proton and proton is has a repulsion, so nuclear force must be stronger than such a repulsion. The other is, since uh, the macroscopic scales, we don't no, the, uh, we can't see the uh, effect of the nuclear force. Nuclear force must be short range. It's the size of the uh, nucleus. That is 10 to the minus 12 or maybe uh, 11 centimeter. And then Yuka proposed his theory, so-called Yuka's Meson theory, 1935. And uh, he proposed force be, uh, the theory, which, ex which is as follows. Force between nucleon is mediated by an exchange of virtual particles. And uh, also, he guessed the mass of that, that virtual particle uh, from the range of the interactions. So interaction range is uh, usually uh, proportional to one over mass. Uh, therefore, from the size of the nucleus, uh, 10 to the minus 12 centimeter, he guessed that mass is between mass of the electron and the mass of the nucleon. nucleon. Therefore, uh, people call it its meson. Uh, intermediate mass means mesons. And uh, later, people call it pi mesons. And uh, actually, at that time, people know force can be mediated by exchange of the particle. So one example is the Coulomb force. Coulomb force is, uh, is explained by exchange of the photon, uh, the light. And uh, like this, figures. Or maybe I thought like this figures. And but photon case is mass of the photon is zero. Therefore, interaction range is kind of inf infinite. However, nuclear force is as you can propose its exchange of pion like this, and the interaction range is finite uh, uh, b because the mass of the pion is non-zero. And uh, our, our particle physics like this diagram. Uh, like, like this diagram, it's called Feynman diagram, and the proton and neutron exchange pion and interact with each other. And the later, 1947, pion was discovered. Two years later, he got Nobel Prize, 1949, in physics. It's, as you know, it's first, in Jap first Japanese Nobel uh, Prize. And the, this year is uh, 70 years anniversary of the Yukawa's Nobel Prize. And uh, because of his Nobel Prize, the Kyoto University 
established institute, so-called Research Institute for Fundamental Physics, 1953. This is our institute. That, that is uh, our building, so-called Yukawa Hall. And this is uh, Yukawa's statue. And this is uh, some photo in front of this door. And this is a Professor Yuka, and this is a Professor Tomonaga. Later, he also got Nobel Prize. And uh, we changed the name in 1990 uh, from Research Institute to Yukawa Institute for Theoretical Physics. So we now call YITP. It's our logo. And different color uh, represent uh, different season in Kyoto. And uh, also we have, uh, next to this building, we have another building, so-called research building, which was uh, uh, built 1995. And the uh, last year was 65 years anniversary of our institute from 1953. And uh, I would like to explain the more det detail, more detail about uh, Yukawa's method theory. In that case, I said nuclear force, but instead of force, we usually use called potential. And I would like to explain what is the potential first. And uh, in the classical mechanics, uh, let's consider particle with mass m, and xt is uh, some coordinate at time t. And the famous law is so-called uh, energy conservation. So total energy is conserved. And usually total energy can be written in kinetic energy, which is momentum squared divided by 2m. Momentum is uh, mass times velocity. Velocity is the first derivative of the uh, coordinate and potential energy. So since it is conserved, uh, potential energy is, is something like this. And if you put particle here, it's going down and the, maybe going up and going down or something like that. And if, so total energy, if we total energy is here, uh, they can only uh, moving around here or moving around here. Oh, yeah. And the good things for the potential is, as you can see this figure, slope gives the forces, and which can be seen from the energy conservation. So energy conservation means energy is independent of time. So you can take time derivative, and for kinetic energy, we get this. And from the potential, the potential divided by x, and also x divided by dt. So from, and that must be zero, because the energy is conserved. From this equation, we can get derivative of, time derivative of the momentum to equal to minus x derivative of the potential. And, and we can regard it, this is force. This is nothing but new, new, Newton's third law, because m uh, sorry, P. P is uh, so uh, m m times v. So P derivative is m a. So F equal m a is Newton's law. And uh, so in case of the gravity or Coulomb force, force is uh, one over uh, x square, and the potential is one over x. And you got uh, nuclear force is can be written in this form. But uh, later, from the experiment, now we have the more complicated structure of the nuclear potential after Yukawa. That is a uh, current understanding of the nuclear potential. And vertical axis is a uh, distance between two nucleons. And this is a potential en energy in, uh, in unit of uh, me MEB. MEB is 10, 10 to the 6 electron volt. Electron volt is uh, this uh, in joule unit, and distance is uh, femtometer. Femtometer is 10 to the minus 13 centimeters. And uh, the long distance, long distance, but about two femtometer, and that part is, can be explained you Yuka's meson theory. So one meson exchange uh, forces, and, and the, but intermediate distance, attraction becomes stronger. As you can see from this figure, ball rolling down in this. That means distance between two nucleons becomes smaller. That means attraction. And uh, that part is a little bit stronger than Yukawa's theory. And uh, Taketani, uh, also Japanese, uh, proposed uh, that can be explained by exchangeable two 
pions or maybe other mesons rather than pions. But that attraction beca in become into repulsion. You, you see, now if you put ball here, it's rolling down this direction. That means this has become larger. That means repulsion. That part uh, was predicted by Jastro. He called this part is repulsive core. Core means uh, two nucle nucleons cannot uh, become closer uh, at, this, at this point, like 0.6 pentameter. And this repulsive score is very important. And first of all, it explains the stability of the matter. If there is no repulsive core, nucleus cannot keep their size. They become very dense objects like this. And uh, that is very important to stabilize the matter, or stabilize uh, us. And also, it may explain the explosion of the type 2 supernova. At the very end of the star life, a gravitational collapse of the star started, and it becomes smaller and smaller. But however, at that some point, because of the repulsive core, it's bound, bounds back. Then it starts an uh, explosion of the supernova. Also maybe sustain the uh, neutron star, etc. And uh, now, to understand the repulsive core, um, Yuka's meson theory cannot explain this structure. And uh, to, un to explain the repulsive core, we have to understand the internal structure of the nucleons. That is our next to my next topic. And that is coke. That is internal structure of the nucleons. And uh, after the Yuka, more than several hundred of hadrons Hadron is uh, a proton, a neutron, a meson, and others, has been found in experiment. Therefore, hadrons are no more elementary uh, particles. But you can time only proton, neutron, and electron exist, so he thought that is elementary. But now it's not elementary. And the hadron are made of more fundamental objects uh, named quarks. And the proton or neutron is called baryons. It consists of three quarks, and the proton case is up quark, up quark, down quark, or neutron is up, down, down. And the meson is made of uh, quark and anti quark, up quark and anti down quark, etc. And the, there is a, a theory, so called quantum chromodynamics, we call QCD. It is a fundamental theory of, of quarks and gluons, and which was proposed by NAMB and maybe other people in 1965. And the coke, first of all, the coke interact uh, themselves by exchanging gluons like this. Corks and the corks, uh, and they emit gluons and they absorb gluons. It's like electron, electron uh, interact with exchange of photon. And uh, instead of charge, they have so called color charge, red, black, green. There are three kinds of charges. So it's coke, coke, and glue. And the gluon is something like photon. And Important point is gluons interact with themselves like this, glue, three gluons or four gluons. That property is absent in Coulomb forces. That is special speciality of the quantum chromodynamics. And uh, these color charges are all sa same color charge. And uh, let, ex let me explain some pro important property of quantum chromodynamics. First property is so-called asymptotic freedom. Interaction becomes very weak at short distance. And that was pr predicted by Gross Politzer Wilsek. They got Nobel Prize 2004. And on the other hand, uh, attraction of the, uh, between quarks becomes stronger at a longer distance. So it's very different. Short distance, force becomes very weak, but long distance, force becomes very strong. And the, these two extreme property can be understood by some kind of so-called storing model. If, for, for example, if constant mesons, up quark and down quark, uh, anti-down quark, if in between there are some string. So if they are close enough, there is no effect because the st string uh, d doesn't affect at all. However, if you try to separate them, 
they cannot separate uh, no, uh, longer than uh, string, string lengths. So that is kind of uh, picture or model. And uh, this property, first property, called, a second property called co-confinement, because that property said no isolated coke can be observed. Actually, so far, we cannot observe isolated coke. And so, and the interesting thing is the only color neutral, neutral means white state can appear in nature. So there is no single coke, there is no two coke, but if you have three, uh, red, green, black can become white, and this state exists, but four coke state doesn't. And the meson is coke and anti coke. Anti coke have com complementary color, gray, magenta, yellow, therefore, then meson can become white. And these only baryon, three coke state, and coke, anti coke state can exist in nature. That is so called coke confinement property. So, if we try to, what happens if we try to separate uh, these coke and anti coke by putting some energy? And uh, if you put energy and try to separate, uh, and suddenly uh, string break. And the uh, coke and anti coke created because you put energy. And uh, this part is uh, white, also charge neutral. And uh, finally, we get uh, UD bar and DD bar. And so instead of isolating coke, we have this process, pi plus becomes pi plus plus pi zero by, put, by putting energy. Then now our task is we can derive this nuclear force from QCD, quantum chromodynamics. That is uh, our task. And this is one of the most challenging problems in elementary particle physics, or nuclear physics. And actually, Nambu stated in his book, Coke Frontier in Particle Physics. Uh, so even now, it is impossible to completely describe nuclear forces beginning, beginning with the fundamental equation. But since we know that nucleons themselves are not elementary, this is like asking if one can exactly deduce the characteristic of very complicated molecules starting from Schrodinger equation, a practically impossible task. So Yukawa's ages, the nuclear force is very simple, proton and neutron and exchange pion. But in QCD, nuclear force is very complicated because proton is made of three coke, neutron is made of three coke, pion is made of coke and anti coke, and exchange gluon a lot like this. And not only this time, there are many other diagrams. We have to calculate all diagram. So question is, so we have fundamental degree of freedom is coke and gluons. But we cannot see such a degree of freedom. What we see, physical degree of freedom, is proton, neutron, and pion. It's stable hadron. And uh, we have to understand interaction among stable particles. That, that is a nuclear force. That is our task. And uh, to attack this problem, we need some other technique, so-called lattice QCD. Lattice QCD is define QCD on the discrete space-time, like this. And uh, if we define this complicated QCD process can be calculated so-called by Monte Carlo method with supercomputer. And uh, for example, we can calculate proton or neutron mass, or maybe pion mass, or other particle mass using lattice QCD. And in this theory, we have three free parameters. And that is some example, uh, result from some Japanese collaboration, so the PAX-CS collaboration. That is uh, some several particles, and this is mass in terms of GeV. GeV is a uh, 10 to the ninth electron volt. And as I said, we need three parameters. So we fix three parameters using pion and also other meson, K meson, and omega particle. And the other is uh, prediction. So red one is lattice QCD prediction and vertical experimental value. And as you can see, lattice QCD reproduce experimental data very well. This is just mass. 
So the mass is only one particle. But we have to consider two particles which in interact with each other. So nucleus force from Ratsuki City. That is my collaborator, Hatsuta san and Ishi san. And uh, we use a uh, supercomputer, so called Blue Jean L, which was at KK. This is uh, one of the fastest supercomputers in Japan around 2006. And it, it's 50 times 10 to the 14th floating point operation per second using total system. It co consists of 10 racks. And we use this half rack, this machine up 3,000 hours calculation and try to calculate nuclear force. But brute force calculation doesn't work. So we need some idea. And the previous people tried to calculate nuclear force itself. And it's very difficult. And calculate some scattering process and wave function. And we inverse the problem. We first considering the scattering process, its wave function. And from that, we calculate deduce a nuclear potential from this wave function. And we try to calculate this in Rats QCD. It's kind of so-called inverse problem. So this is fast calculation in Rats QCD. And uh, we did some approximation, neglect coke, anti-coke pair creation. And uh, in nature, pion mass is 140 MeV. But that mass is very difficult uh, in rats QCD. So we use a little bit heavier pion mass. And that is our result at that time, 2007. And uh, this is our result. As you can see, uh, this is a potential from the experiment. And this line is a product prediction from Yukawa theory, that's long distance part. And as you can see, qualitative future of NN potential, including, including re repulsive core, are reproduced in our large security calculation. Uh, maybe skip. Some re uh, responsible reaction. First is from Franz Brisek. He, he came to Kyoto in 2007 and gives speech at Yukawa Tomonaga Symposium. And uh, he explained some, some uh, things about nuclear force. And just in the last few weeks, uh, Ishiaoka and Hatsuta reported the first calculation of their nuclear force based on QCD. They do find the hard core. It's a major milestone in our fundamental understanding of the matter. And he also some article in Nature. Also, our paper was selected in the Nature Research Highlight 2007. The achievement is both a computational to the force and the triumph theory. So conclusion is now more than 70 years later, Yukawa's method theory is understood from more fundamental theory of coke and gluon, QCD. So we now de can derive Yukawa potential, uh, no, uh, nuclear potential from the fundamental theory. Now in the future, well, now we are, our strategy to understand the uh, nature as as follows. So we first calculate potential in rats QCD, from QCD, and give it to the nuclear physics and calculation and the calculate the structure of the matter. And that information can be uh, used to understand property of the neutron star or supernova explosion. Thank you very much. <laughs>